What up, ninjas? <clears throat> I wanted to talk about this shit the other day, but I was fresh from work, and um, <clears throat> I just got caught up talking with Jess and everything. But um, I'm gonna use an example. The example that's most um, relevant to me, the most recent that y'all know, right? I heard. I don't know the details, but I heard that Yellow Wolf got basically axed by our Juggalo family, um, like to prevent him, like they, they stopped him from performing at the gathering, like he ain't gonna do it no more, right? My thing about this is this, about that is this, check it out. It's early in the morning, my bad, I'm blowing all that shit. See, I don't understand the outrage of this man, especially Yellow Wolf of all artists. Like I said, now, now I know I've seen a lot of people talking shit about Jelly Roll, these are the most prevalent names that pop up that are still relevant in our world, too. Um, I could understand motherfuckers like that, but Yella, especially like he's tight with DJ Paul. DJ Paul is tight with Violin J, you know what I mean? With Ouija, all them fools. So, why is it such a fucking issue for Yellow Wolf to perform just because that fool is on his country shit, which ain't even on no like racist shit? He got. All kind of people is that slum mafia. The slum American, whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? Everybody got their own shit. So I don't understand this fucking bitchiness and this whininess. And at the same time, for, for, I don't know. I don't know who controls what or who has a final say, but for everybody in charge to let that shit happen and to let Yella just like walk off, I thought that was pretty fucked up. Considering... And this is where I'm going to use that example. Considering y'all got juggalos, y'all got artists, right, that are undercover racist, homophobic, sexist motherfuckers. And these are people that chill with Shaggy 2 Dope. You know what I mean? And I don't pass judgment on nobody. You know what I mean? I don't speak on, on nobody and shit, but I just go by what I see, Right? And that whole thing with politicized with Fareed, that fool was so um, convinced that all he had to do was make one call to Shaggy Tudo. And he was going to laugh at the fact that I got homies that's trans, homies that's, in the, that's, that's gay, that's lesbian. And it, it, like then all of a sudden I see a picture of him and Shags at the studio and then I saw like the uproar that this motherfucker had going on 2020 at the, the gathering of the Matrix. Oh, the, the Fago lovers reported on him. Y'all made it seem like he was the next big fucking thing. Not even given two seconds to look into the character of this fucking person. See, image is everything, I guess, right? If you look all crazy, you got some fucking uh, uh, old school Eminem style bars and shit like none of this shit he was saying is okay he figured out his flow that's all it is and the motherfucker is not embarrassed to freestyle and do his shit I give him that but you gotta judge the character of the person man y'all just go by flock to somebody that's popping or that, that gets hyped up and nobody questions the character of that person this motherfucker was the most racist homophobic Fool, the most anti-juggalo juggalo aside from the Joker. And everybody was about this motherfucker. Like it blew my mind when I started digging in because at the same time that everybody was raving, he was starting to fucking get that shit in his head, thinking like he's untouchable, thinking he's some tough motherfucker, going around threatening people, threatening people's families. And whether you motherfuckers want to say it or not, that's neither here or there. The winning, the losing, either way, we both lost because we lost a friendship. You know what I mean? I thought I met a cool guy. Nah, I beat some sense into him. He kept walking off. He ain't want to smoke. You think somebody going to fucking beat somebody ass and when they come back up all bloody, they're going to be like, what? They're going to be all scared about it? No, dumbasses. They're going to be like, bitch, you want some more? I'll beat your ass some more. It was the opposite vibe with this fool because I whooped his fucking ass. Because you know why? This, I don't take hardly, lightly. This thing right here took years decade a decade and a half to fucking get just because of this type of shit because i don't follow no man no human no man woman child nothing no 
I follow what I think, what I feel. You know what I mean? Everything that is my being, that my instincts, everything, that's what I go by and I go by the character of people. I don't care how much hype you got. And you know what? With Homeboy, when he was around me and shit, I always talked to him like a person. All that other shit was set aside. I don't need to, I don't care how big you are, how famous you are, I don't give a shit how rich you are. When you face to face with me, we're talking as a person. I'm talking to you as a person. I respect your friendship as a person. I show love to DJ Clay when I see him. Because we talked a little at the gathering and shit. And he was he, like the vibes that I get from him is, is such a humble, cool guy. I respect him as a person. Above his incredible skills as a DJ, as an MC. I see him as a person, as a dope person. Until you give me a reason not to see you like that, I'm going to see you like that. And I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. But y'all got to stop with the bitchiness, the whininess, the laziness, the unaccountability. And start fucking looking at people's characters. And start looking in the mirror. Some of y'all need to work at yourself. Y'all need to work at yourselves. And you mad because you're getting trash. But you're living like trash and you're projecting trash vibes. So y'all got to tighten up. And y'all could hate me. I don't give a fuck. Like I said, y'all know that. And I'm going to speak my goddamn mind. And sometimes I may be wrong and hey, I'll admit it. I throw a bad joke. I say the wrong shit, whatever. I take a minute to marinate on that. Hey, my bad. I, I am not afraid to, to admit that. But y'all really got to do better with the motherfuckers that's in the Juggalo community, in the Juggalo world, because y'all letting trash come in, getting all hyped up over bullshit because everybody want clout and shit. It's not cool. It's not cool. And that's some weak ass shit to me. Whoop whoop, y'all know what it is. Fuck off.